Jeremy Kyle, never afraid to offer advice to guests on his show every weekday morning. More recently, though, he's taken his own advice on board and managed to quit his 20-a-day smoking addiction that's lasted, what, how many years? 35 years. Can you believe that? Wow. It's all part of Stop Tober, isn't it? Yeah, Public Health England um, just approached me and said, uh, you've given up, and I went, I know. <laughs> I mean, that, for me, when I say it now, it's six months next Friday. Which is extraordinary. Do you still crave a fag? No. <clears throat> I Not don't. even I when did. you're having the, a drink. The kids were funny at the beginning. They right. go, you know, they go, grumpy hashtag day four. <laughs> still grumpy hashtag day nine. <laughs> but I said to everybody, you know, Public Health England said, Are you happy to front this? And I said, Yes. But for me, the advice is, you know, I can talk about their personal quit plans. I can talk about how you shouldn't really do cold turkey and how you can quit with support and stuff. But for me, Lorraine, it was, I had to get there myself. Right, OK, get that. And, and, and everybody for years says, give it up. And you know, it's, listen, I had cancer and I still smoked. I, I lost no. my mum, you know, I, I... And everybody says, is it that? Is it meeting Vic? Is it your new life? Whatever. It might be all of those things, but mm. essentially, it just came to me. I think it was April the 12th in Dallas. I said to yeah. my mate, it's the last fag I'm going to have, and he went, no. And I went, yeah. And that was it? Was it. God, that's amazing. Got on a plane and haven't done it. D did it with the e-cigarette, cos, you know, it's, it's, it's about trying to find ways of doing it. its combined quitting. It's not yeah. just, just give it up, really. And everybody's different, aren't they? Everybody will find their own way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And there is and, and such I, a And lot I of think help. those sort of smoking aids... I mean, in the old days, I'd put a patch on and take it off if I wanted a cigarette. I mean, literally. Oh, but the wow. great thing about this Stoptober is that, you know, you can get such good advice and such good support. But, yeah, for me, it was um, a big thing. No, it's great. I don't even get coffee now. I've got water. <laughs> I've got water. It? It's great, isn't it? Because <laughs> caffeine's bad. This is you. nice, though, here. Isn't Do you it? like it? You look... I'm not going to tell our story, but we go back 15 years. <laughs> you know that story, don't yes, you? I you do. want to share it? With I Robert Downey Jr. My yes, first ever sure. day on television, centred, Dan, you'll love this, centred on the fact that they said, you've got to go and present this morning, and Lorraine's going to be there, and she was so kind and so generous, and I couldn't speak. I was like, ugh. <laughs> and she said, and our first guest today is Robert Downey Jr., and he went, nice. He said nice tits to me. Yeah, actually, that was his <gasps> opening remark. And I... I know! And I lost, which is relevant today, because <laughs> we're talking about the seriousness of breast cancer. Indeed, well. indeed. And I literally, I lost all my nerves. I went, who the hell do you think you are? You were very and good. And that was it. You leapt to my defence. I did. Although, to be fair, I don't think he knew who he was. Do you remember I he never had socks on and he was meandering I about? I think later on they discovered that, no, that he actually didn't really know he was he even in London, to no. be honest. But let's move on from that. <laughs> and it could have been a little... He'd nick Schofield's dressing room. I do remember that. It's <laughs> yeah. hilarious. So you've stopped smoking, which is fantastic. I have, and uh, and Stoptober you, should help you, literally. Do you feel better for it? Very you, much so, yeah, and, and they say things like that, you know, you're not going to cough and all that. I had a few, you know, because it's a... You detox, don't you? Yeah. 35 years. Um, and I didn't feel great for a while, mm. but I feel better now. Good, you look really well. 53. Look, you're a granda. Thanks. Oh, oh, what a granda. A granda, yeah, uh, a granda. Listen, yeah, no, Isla, <laughs> Scottish name, eh? Yes. Which is fantastic. No, my daughter Harriet and her, and her husband Ty have done amazingly. And, and everybody said, I granddad, mate, can you believe that? <laughs> like, no, but it's fantastic. Is it great fun? You know what they oh, say? You're not a gran granny. No, sadly. A granna, not. yeah. A granny. granny. The granny. Uh, not yet. She's only wee. She's you know, they young. say, they say uh, you can give them back, and that's great. It's true. Mm, is and, it? No, no, and, and, but she, it is. <clears throat> no, no, we're Fill baby, them, Vic and I are babysitting for the whole weekend this weekend. The whole weekend. We've got it for the whole weekend, so it'll oh, be fun. Oh, it's brilliant. It's but really, no, she's really fantastic. Good. And you've got things, things are sorted, you know, childcare between the two of you. Absolutely. It's all fine. Just get on with your life. And getting married at some point. Come so on. You, you want the exclusive. I'll tell no, you what, I'll tell you what. I, I, do. I, just I, am, I did ask uh, Victoria to get married to me because she's changed my life without any shadow of a doubt. But uh, no plans as yet. Not um, yet. Well, I mean, maybe, but I, I, you, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do this for ITV. Lorraine will get the exclusive. Thank you very much. Will I get, will I also get an invite? So you know, she said to me, I thought, you need to hurry up, I need to buy a hat. <laughs> it's true, it's very true. You look it's really well, though. you do look really Thank well. Thank you. Does Thank anybody you. here smoke, or what? Does anybody need some Stoptober advice? No, they're all clean, Patsy, loving. Patsy, smoke? Never smoked in my life. Patsy doesn't smoke, Dan doesn't smoke. Nobody smokes, you don't have to, you were in a minority. But do you know what, I was saying to somebody the other day when I was doing yep. this, do you know how much the world has changed? I remember, that's how old I am, smoking on planes. Nuts. Everybody's How can you now imagine that you could sit in a confined space, 36,000 feet up, and have a cigarette and stub yeah. it out? Make your own me fire. 
That's really, really good idea. It's isn't unbelievable. It? But please, if you are thinking of doing it, you know, get to it yourself. But sure. but the support from from Soptober Public Health England, just that personal quick plan and going online and realizing that there are more than one ways to, to do it, it, it really helped me. And and it's proven that that if you if you can quit for four weeks, you you'll five times more likely. Right. And, and but uh, look, Lorraine, everybody said it for you. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Vic said to me the other night, it's interesting now because we'll have dinner. Right? And I don't leave the table halfway through to go and have a cigarette or whatever. Exactly. Don't yeah. you see you now? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's very true. Six it? months on Friday. And do you think that's it? You'll never go back? I won't. You do, but I did it. For, I did it for me. I didn't do it because that's the point I was trying to make. Yeah. I think quitting with support is one thing, but I think quitting because you you want to is the most mm. important thing. You have to. too many people will say, quite rightly, but I'm not, I won't be a convert. Are you not evangelical? You're not going round... Well, now, people. my dad, who lost my mum, does have the occasional cigarette. Right. And, and, and what are you supposed to say to that at 85, right? And I he know. said to me, you're one of those terrible converts. You start <laughs> nagging me. <laughs> said it should be banned. No, listen, people will make their own minds up. But when you've smoked for that long and you... I'll drive along the road and I'll see somebody at the side of the road right. having a cigarette or, and I can smell it from 100 yards off now. Mm. So, no, it's good. It's changed my life. Good. I'm very glad to hear. It's lovely to see you. And you. We never see each other, really, do it's we? It's ridiculous. But you're on in a minute, aren't you? Oh, yes. In about, well, yes. well, in about an hour. When are you, what time is it now? It's yeah, about, about 40. Two. Have I got enough time to have a bit of breakfast? You can go and have some breakfast. Put a suit on. Out, and then get back into the gladiator really that you are. Come here, you. Gladiator. Superstar. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks, much. Lorraine. It's great to see Thank you. you.